Hello, I'm John Gammon from Wrexham Museum and I'm here with George Crew from Wrexham Boxing Club to present this poster of uh, boxing legend Johnny Basham. Uh, Johnny Basham was born in Newport but he uh, moved to Wrexham to join the Royal Welsh Fusiliers in 1911 and obviously one of the things he did was he was big into boxing. He trained in the town, up at the High Town Barracks, also on Poyser Street and he became one of the instructors actually for the Royal Welsh Fusiliers during the First World War, like a fitness instructor. And in 1916 he won his first championship as the British welterweight champion. And obviously been a real inspiration to uh, many boxers across Wales, but especially here in Wrexham. Yeah, that's correct. Um, Johnny Basham to me, uh, a, lot, a lot of people now can't remember the voice of Johnny Basham. I can only remember him through my parents talking to me and telling me about it. When he won the championship, apparently he, he became a, a, quite a star, which meant he, he, he then went on to an open, uh, either a tram or a bus, and was paraded through Wrexham town and areas. Mm -hmm. um, I can remember, the only thing I can remember him was when I was a young boy, all the bus stations, all the buses ran from high town. Mm -hmm. And there was a, a photo of Johnny Basham in, in a punch out of his window. And I always used to think, I wanted to be one of them, weren't they? And eventually I was. Not a professional, but as an amateur. Uh, and then eventually we, we started a club in Wrexham 1982, and it's gone from strength to strength. And, uh, uh, and that's all I can really tell you. But we are pleased to have this, this uh, trophy of Johnny Basham. And certainly it will be appreciated by all the boxers and uh, it is something that nobody else could have, I think. Terrific. Thank you very much. No problem. No, it's a great story. I mean, we, we, we had this poster in an exhibition about weights and measures, and you can't really think of weights unless you think of boxing weights and all the yeah. different classes. And the exhibition finished, and we thought, well, I don't want to throw the, the panel away. And it's such a great photograph of him as well. I mean, it's a quality photograph from that period. And he's got a great story. It's a bit of a sort of rags to riches to rags, but now he's back you know, inspiring young people to take part in a sport which is, you know, keeps, keeps a lot of people out of trouble. It's a good sport. And um, he's there and he, he lived a long life and I think he dined out on his, um, his victories. And yeah, a lot of good stories around him.